What game gave you so much paranoia that you deleted or stopped playing the game? <coughs> Alien Isolation. I'm not a very patient person so there is only so much creeping around I can do before I get bored and run, but then the alien fins me and I get stuck in an endless loop of scary alien deaths. Alien Isolation. Holy fuck does that game not let you catch a break. Creepy ambient noises and music in SCP, Secret Laboratory. The noises and creepy music gave me horrible anxiety. Dead by Daylight. I can't play it alone, only with friends physically in the same room as me playing at the same time. It gives me too much anxiety to play on my own. Dead Space. I didn't last long playing that one. Haven't gone back to it since. Disney seen it. I was playing it with a friend once. The game would play a clip and you would have to answer a question afterwards. During my friend's turn it showed the clip from Chicken Little, when the aliens talk to them about their son. They asked the question, like normal. But then after the answer was shown, the screen went back to the paused ending of the video, and asked another question. Weird. This happened about 6 times, each with different questions, but the same clip, until the whole system shut off. I haven't played since. Doom 2. I started getting this recurring dream as a teenager about installing it on a computer and then it never being able to quit the game. Trying to exit, control plus ALT plus DELETE, even unplugging the computer didn't work, the game would keep playing. Scared the shit out of me. It's been over two decades now and still, whenever I see footage of that game, that nightmare about a possessed computer playing Doom 2 will show up again within a few days. Doom 3. So dark, so many creepy ambient noises, so many killer surprises around every corner, and of course, bloody footprints forming with a woman whispering they took my baby, and a door you don't want to open, because you fear what's behind it, but the other door is conveniently locked. I can't even make this stuff up. I put that game down, and never finished it. Endless Ocean. Absolutely terrifying. It was Trina make me dive in an abyss WTF. FNAF. Started thinking that, if I looked through my window or door I would see a damn animatronic. Then the power went out a few weeks, after I played and that's when I said fuck this, and deleted the game. I know it doesn't get much love in the states, but Fatal Frame or originally known as Project Zero. The first two in the series were absolute gold. If I played alone, lights were on. If it was dark, I had a bunch of friends over, and we were terrified. The way you only had the camera and had to get in close for the fatal frame was intense. Jump scares were done right and the other spooks too. Those games will always be my top two. I never stopped playing it, but Ocarina of Time used to creep me out so hard that it took me over a decade to finish it. I started playing the game when I was 5, and it was my first experience with any kind of media that featured a lot of evil creatures and darker motifs. I must have spent something like 3 or 4 years on the spiritual stone dungeons alone. Every time I got over something creepy in one dungeon, the next one would be waiting with something else. 11 year old me would think, okay, this eerie empty room with a single tree in the water temple isn't so bad and very next dungeon boom, dead hand. I started playing Fallout 4 because I loved Skyrim and it was the new Bethesda game. Overall it was alright, but my anxiety would jump up every time I went into a building and had to play the which one of these is going to pop up and try to kill me game with the corpse looking things. I got to where I needed to clean out this huge site full of them and I just decided I wasn't having fun anymore and just put it down for good. I was playing Hillblade, Senna's Sacrifice by myself. It's already creepy enough with all the voices and crap. But then we had an earthquake. I live in California. Having the whole house shake while being immersed in the game made me nope the hell out. Haven't played it since. I'm surprised I haven't seen a mention of puppet combo games. I guess they're not for everyone and people might not be into it. But holy shit. Some of those scares got me good. I remembered playing Nun Massacre and I was hiding under a bed. Figured it chill there for a couple minutes to check my phone. Look up from my phone after a couple minutes and see the nun walk in and lift the bed I was under. Cue the sirens. I slammed my hands down on the keyboard so fast. More or less what happened when I played the Resident Evil 2 remake with my partner. I handle most of the gameplay because he can't deal with horror, but I just walk in rooms like I own the place while he handles the puzzles. 
I'm scared when I play it and put on a brave face, but I literally never remember where I'm supposed to be or what I should be doing and it's infuriating. He checked out after Mr. X showed up, and I don't have the patience to figure out what's going on by myself with Mr. X breathing down my neck. My buddy played Dead Space for the first time. He said that a creature grew over his NPC friend's face, and he had to run down a hallway to escape from it. Before completing the very first part he died. Once he realized he had to play the beginning all over again, my buddy promptly alt plus f4 apostrophe d and uninstalled. Nancy Drew, Haunted Mansion 10 year old me heard the ghost whisper on the staircase and ran out of my grandma's computer room like a bat out to hell. Oddly enough, Minecraft. I played it with friends growing up and did that for years. Now though, most of us don't have the time to play games together every day and playing such a social game alone is strangely really fucking spooky. Outlast 1. I played it like 2 to 3 years ago, so back when I was a super baby back bitch. I played about halfway through when I got stuck on a part where I had to dodge big fat pig man. I had no clue where to go and I just kinda froze up and uninstalled the game right there. Outlast. The constant fear, horrifying shit that suggested throughout the game. I've never squirmed at a movie or game before. But when I'm running from the psychos and something blocks me, I don't have the balls to turn around, and I just drop the controller and freak. Paranoiac, an RPG maker horror game. There are a lot of chase scenes where you have to hide in a specific place to avoid the bad guy, and you will be chased out again if you pick the wrong place. It also gives you a jump scare of monster face when this happens. Some hiding places even lead to instant death with no chance to escape. I guess the game worked too well on me. Played a pretty intense game of Team Fortress 2 where the opposing team had an incredible spy man who was fooling and stabbing people left and right. After it was done I felt pretty shifty for the remainder of the day and didn't play anymore. That bag of wet man messed me up. Silent Hill 2. Fuck that whole town. One playthrough is enough. Silent Hill 4. Played it for 20 minutes. Never played it again. Made my ex return it to the store. Skyrim. I had a hard drive failure and lost a 500 mod Sava game. That mod setup was done so well I never could replicate it again. Then I spent the better part of the next 6 months trying to remake everything but eventually gave up. Now I can't even finish the download for Skyrim without cancelling it out of dread. Slender Man. I used to play with my sister, but the stress levels were unreal. Thinking about the screen flickering as he got closer still gives me chills. Slender, the 8 pages. I quit after 2 pages. Soma. The game starts off innocently enough, but then there's a big time skip, and it just fucked with my head. This idea of closing your eyes, only to reopen them in a completely different time, alone, in the dark, in a post-apocalyptic world, with a million questions, and things that follow and haunt you. I then made it worse, by delving into the live-action shorts released before the game, contributing to the world building. And it was so meter and trippy, god damn, I discovered genuine fears of mine, losing crazy amounts of time, waking up alone after the world has essentially ended, etc, all thanks to this game, that I played maybe 30 minutes of, great game and story, though, I highly recommend, sounds odd since it's not a horror game but Fallout 76, to name some paranoia causes, servers failed to upload save data, so kiss your progress by, Enem is not taking damage, so that raid you planned for a week being a complete waste. Enemies, dragon fuckers, dealing 38 armor breaking attacks in a row causing hours of farming to fix it for it to be gone in less than a minute. It sounds petty to toss it on this list, but if a game actively makes you worried that so much time and work put into it can come crashing down at any minute, then it's not worth playing that game any longer. Subnautica. If there's one thing that scares my sh asterisk t off is the largeness of the ocean and the void and silence you feel being in it. The big ass creatures and their sounds too, they are what's so scary about it, finding them or seeing their shadow in the water. Finished the game though, my heart exploding, never played it again. Very cool but spooky game. Subnautica r slash thalassophobia put a name to my primal fear of open water, and Subnautica is basically that fear incarnate. And the game FEAR. The hallucinations plus little ring-esque girl. Hard no. The forest for me. I remember looking forward to the game for so long. 
bought it on release day, got it downloaded it. Went through the intro where you get out of the crashed plane and thought man what an amazing game so far. However once sundown came, it quickly turned. I had only a lighter for a light source, and I have just enough light to see fucking zombies running back and forth in the near distance behind trees. Then the noise started, shrieking and laughing, and whatever the fuck. And I started running. Little did I know that engages them. Screamed like a bitch once they reached me. Alt F4 apostrophe D immediately, uninstalled, didn't touch it again for nearly 6 months, until I played with some friends. The original Unreal. There was a point in the game where, after you had just blown up the reactor on the ship, you know how to navigate, in the dark, back out of the ship among the now awake and hissing spiders and any ghost aliens. The Steam game banished. I love city building games, and that looked great to me. But everyone died off, as soon as I built it up a little bit. There was a cemetery with little great stones filling it up. It was always something natural like flu, starvation, whatever. It felt a little too real to me. There was a mobile game I played when I was 8 on my iPad. I can't remember the name, but it was some Chinese game where you wake up in a variety of cars or apartments and have to escape. They used images of real cars and houses. I remember once I escaped from the car and was attacked by a guy with orange pupil S eyes. Still gives me shivers. There was this app I played years ago. I can't for the life of me remember the name, so if anyone knows what I'm talking about feel free to share it. Basically it was an astronaut texting you who was lost on a planet and you were the only person they could contact. You helped them make decisions and it was creepy f. Creepy music, creepy story, everything. It honestly scared me so bad that I didn't finish it. The astronaut can die and have horrible things happen to them if you make a wrong decision. Thief. The first one. One of the levels with a million burricks made me so tense and paranoid that I stopped playing it for several months. When I turned it back on, I just ran past all of them, which had never occurred to me to be an option. This isn't exactly what the question is but the witness, for the first about 24 hours, after I bought the game I played it for 18 hours. For a while anything closely resembling a dot and a line my brain had a sudden reaction, and still 3 months later I still sometimes have a reaction. Undertale. I killed Toriel in the beginning, felt bad, plus learned that you shouldn't kill anyone on the first playthrough supposedly, so I deleted my save and started over. Didn't kill anyone, and refused to kill Toriel, and thought all was good. Until Floey called me out for killing her and starting over. I was so freaked out by that level of fourth wall break, that I shut the game down, and haven't picked it up since. When I was a kid I got my mom to rent me the Simpsons NES game. I started it up, and was immediately terrified of the 8-bit Simpsons music for some reason. The game itself was nothing special, but I remember being petrified of it because of that music. When I was a kid I had to stop playing Majora's Mask because the moon scared me, and I did not understand the 3-day time limit. When I was a kid, Doom 3. I literally cold and advance on the first level when all the chaos happens. I used to play this in a cyber cafe, I didn't have computer, full of people, with two friends in the sides, and we still cold and managed to advance, because we didn't want it in him jumping on us out of the darkness, or from under the stairs, or when opening a door, etc. What a game.